in that regard, is the most interdisciplinary subject I can think of. So this is the axioms. And then on the other hand, this is 3.1. In 3.2, we have defined n. We have defined successor on n. Uh, I'll just put it this way, successor on n. Logic is a very fascinating subject. For a long time, it was a subdiscipline of philosophy. About 150 years ago, a revolution took place in the field where it was infused with mathematical ideas and concepts and machinery. Now, logic is a dynamic subject that has a lot to say about philosophy, computer science, linguistics, and our daily life. In that regard, it's the most interdisciplinary subject I can think of. So why study logic in Gothenburg? There is something special about our program master's program in logic that distinguishes it from other programs. And that has to do with the fact that unlike most other master's programs that concentrate on this or that aspect of logic, here the student has a lot of flexibility. Let me explain. In the first year, they will study the core, very theoretical foundation of the subject. In the second year, they could continue that theoretical investigation or they could move on to the exciting applications in linguistics, computer science, philosophy, or something they can think of. In that regard, our program is very distinctive. There is one other aspect of the program that I think many students would find very attractive, and that has to do with the fact that the research environment and the learning environment is a close-knit, cozy one where there is lots of room for personal interactions. And that makes the program, I think, a very effective one. There are basically two kinds of career opportunities that students can pursue afterwards. One is a continuation of research in the field of logic itself, mathematics, computer science, linguistics, or philosophy. The other one will be finding a job where they use their practical skills in information technology, software engineering, or computational linguistics.